Hey everyone, it's Drew from Coach here. Today we have an 8 minute ab burner. I really love all these 4 exercises. What we're going to be doing is we're going to do 8 minutes, 4 different exercises, 2 sets, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. This is a really good opportunity to improve your form. This isn't really, really intense. This is an opportunity to focus on your balance, your posture, your core, your glutes. So really, really effective movements. Today, we're going to go through four exercises. So the first one, we have the dead bug. So what we're doing is we're lying on our back, our knees this way, hands in the air, and we're going to alternate the leg and the hand. So the right hand is going down, the left foot is going down. And we're going to switch. So literally, just follow me. We're going three, two, one. So here we go, right hand down, left foot. And then same again, we're alternating if you want to make it a bit harder, bring your shoulders slightly off the ground. That allows you to put all your back on. And if you find that really, really hard, you may want to focus on like bringing on like a little towel or something to basically give you that little support to your neck. But try how you feel in this movement and see how we get on. So we're going to the bell, we're moving. Bring it nice and down and so on. Keep rotating, sometimes you may get the, the wrong one. Here we go, relax, for 20 seconds. Now, we are doing the plank. So we can do a plank on our forearms or on our hands. Whatever is more suitable for you. So we're going eight more seconds. So either select your plank on forearms or your hands. For this set, I'm going on my hands because I'm going to speak to you as well. So what we're doing here is you want to really focus on engaging your core. We don't want to be too low. We don't want to be too high. You, you don't want to be fully straight with the back. If you do like this, the bum is a bit up in the air, and that's what we want. Same if you're doing the forearm. You're not too low, not too high. And really focus here on your breathing. So breathe in, breathe out. Really focus on engaging your core, and just really focusing on your balance. Keep breathing. Few more seconds. And relax, for about 20 seconds to relax. I'm already sweating. Next, we have the dead, the bird dog. I always get those two mixed up. It's basically the opposite. We're gonna basically hit knees and hands on the ground, and what we're doing, right hand in the air, left leg up, and we're alternating. Here we go, there we go. So, over time, you can make this movement a lot harder by basically doing one, one, like one set at a time from like the right and leg, and then bringing them together. But right now, really focus on just this solid movement, engaging your core, engaging your glutes. It's also very good for your back as well. So all around, it's really good movement. And we've got a bit of sweat already. It's a nice warm day today. Keep going. And relax. And next, the last exercise is going to be the classic crunch. I like to do crunch because when you do it right, it can be really effective. So all we're doing, lying on the ground, arms across the chest, and what we're doing is keep that back nice and flat on the ground, and just bring your shoulders up. It's not the way up, it's just that tiny motion of bringing the shoulders and neck up, keeping that back flat on the ground and squeezing your core. I don't want you to do this as a really fast movement. I want it to be slow. I'm really focused on every single rep you do, you're squeezing the core. It's an opportunity not to hurt yourself in here and just focus on every rep. Really effective, at squeeze that core and squeeze. Keep going. And you're welcome, I have allowed you to stay on this ground. We are one set in. We have one more set left. That's four minutes done. We're going back to the dead bug. Keep going, we're halfway. I want everyone to stay on to the finish. We only have four minutes left, come on. So, hands in the air, knees here. Pick your leg. We're going this leg, then down. When I first did this, I really struggled. I was just doing the same. See, there you go, it's sometimes very confusing. 
but you just little, if you do happen to be in that situation where you're getting the wrong leg, just pause a second and then reset. It was a really good coordination exercise, this. But I really feel my core. Remember to keep breathing. Last oh, few seconds. And relax. Next up, we have the plank. So again, if you want to do hands or forearm, whatever is best for you. Here we go. Hands. Let's go. We've got three, two, one. Yeah. I really need to know what plank is in Hebrew, but that would be cool. So if you know what plank is in Hebrew, please comment below. Or just send me a message on Instagram. That'd be great. So again, not too high, not too low, not too high, not too low. Opportunity to focus on your breathing, engaging your core, also focus on your balance. 10 seconds left, is that correct? Yes, 10 seconds left. Focus on the hold. Great. Next up, we have bird dog. So, similar scenario, positioning to the blank. We're bringing the hands up or leg up. We have five more seconds, two more exercises. Let's finish off nice and strong. Let's keep going. So think about bringing that leg nice and high, so it's in line with your tuchus, the same with your hands. This is where it makes it a bit harder. It's really easy to go half rep and just really go high and high and slow down the motor, slow down the rep if you need to. Slow down the rep, engage your core, engage your glutes. And as a reminder, don't forget to breathe and relax. And next, we are on the ground for the last exercise. The, the crunch. I'm getting a little tan here, lovely. Okay, last crunch, last exercise, let's go. Remember, nice and slow, squeeze every rep. Make sure your back is nice and flat, so it's just about bringing the shoulders and the neck off the ground. It's not going up too high, just ever so slightly. And the more you do this, the better you'll get. Squeeze each rep. Last exercise of the day, we're done. So final push. And we're done. I was in that, but I was feeling that I was pushing myself there. So, well done everyone. Thank you for joining me today. That's an eight minutes core exercise. Honestly, I believe that these, those four movements are probably some of the best body weight exercises you can do. It's slow, it's controlled. You're really able to feel your core during these movements. These are not just like, a lot of them are Pilates based and Pilates is unbelievable for the core. So, hope you enjoyed that. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.